This is Pill Nanny. Medication made easy. Pill Nanny's mission is to prevent further spread of the opioid epidemic by controlling one's access to pills. The opioid epidemic is a huge problem in the United States. In 2019 alone, there were 164 million opioids prescribed to patients. And out of these patients, there were reported 16 million opioid abusers. This led to nearly 2 million opioid-related hospitalizations and almost 50,000 Americans dead. As Ved mentioned, this opioid epidemic is a problem which stems from a patient's lack of control when it comes to enticing or addictive drugs. The only way to counter this temptation is a solution, Pill Nanny, a pill dispenser that is paired with an app to regulate when uh, users can access their medication. This device will ensure that the users are taking the correct amount of pills at the uh, right time and will notify the doctor and the pharmacist if they are not. This notification process is possible because of the, uh, because of the dispenser's built-in sensors. Lastly, the Pill Nanny mobile application which pairs with the dispenser will also have an information center about opioids so that the users can stay informed. Next, we have the process. The first step is patient-doctor interaction when the patient enters the doctor's office and asks for a diagnosis. If they need opioids, the doctor will register the patient's prescription on the Pilonini application under their account. We then go on to step two, which is um, patient-pharmacist interaction. When the patient arrives at the pharmacy and indicates that they have an opioid-related prescription, the pharmacist will check the patient's prescription on the pill any application and input the correct number of pills onto the dispenser. For the third stage, um, the patient will go home and use their pills at the appropriate times. Misusing prescription medicine is illegal, so the doctor and the pharmacist will be notified if the device is tampered with. Lastly, after the patient's prescription period is over, they will return the pill any units to the pharmacy so it can later be reused. It is extremely important to note that the pill any dispensers will be sold to pharmacists so they can rent it out to users. It will not be sold directly to users. Visit the PillNanny app, including basic patient information, such as their name, age, ID number, and prescription details. It is tightly integrated with the PillNanny device, as shown in the blueprint next to the app. In the device, pills come in a pre-packed capsule and are spring-loaded into the secondary storage compartment. And with the help of the gear and motor, the serrated stick pushes the pill through the solenoid lock and to the photogate sensor. The photogate sensor is tightly integrated with the app, which allows the system to notify the pharmacist of any tampering. Pilnani tends to be more cost efficient and effective compared to its main competitors, such as VitaWorks and MediPens, striking the perfect balance between accessibility and effectivity. The products more to the right are better equipped to counter the opioid epidemic, and the products higher up are more cost efficient. Unlike its competition, Pilnani is uniquely designed to help stop the opioid epidemic. This is Pilnani's roadmap as to where we will be in the next year. We are currently in the outreach and prototype phase. In the following months, we will be working tirelessly to complete and test our prototype, while also reaching out to investors. Furthermore, as we approach the end of the timeline of the 2021 year, we will have completed the patent process and have started in collaborating with pharmacies and experts in order to finish our research and get our product into the market. To start off 2022, we will be working at one of our hardest steps so far, obtaining FDA approval. We will sell the pill units and disposable pill containers to pharmacies, who will rent out the pill nannies and sell the containers. The containers are disposable so that we can ensure a sanitary reuse of the pill nanny. Our prototype costs $64 to make, but the final unit will be sold for $65. $50 of that will go to producing the unit, $5 to marketing, and $10 will be profit. We will sell the containers for $5. $2 of that will go to producing the container and $3 will be profit. User safety and satisfaction are top priorities for Pillanetti. Currently, we are reaching out to experts and conducting large-scale large surveys at our school for feedback and to find out find potential problems in Pillanetti. We plan on working with many companies, especially pharmaceutical companies such as CVS and government agencies such as the FDA and CDC to ensure that Pillanini is safe and available for all. Thank you.